Hey everyone, Erica with K here. So I wanted to talk about um, hidden Etsy fees that I just, just found out about. So I'm going to be basically recording my laptop so you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. And I'm gonna walk you guys through basically how I found out what it is and like, you can shut it off, but like only after you've already paid for it. It's really annoying. So anyway, I'm just gonna show you guys and hopefully you guys can turn it off beforehand. It won't happen to you if you guys don't want it. So let's switch this around. So on your main dashboard, if this happens to you, you're gonna see like, yay, you got your first offsite ads thing. So I go to my dashboard and then I'm like, what is this? What is actually going on with this? So then it says you only pay 15% advertising fee if you make a sale. I'm like, but who says that I wanted who, who says that I wanted this? So I sold something, it was $38, and they said that it was through this thing. So I had to pay $5.70 in advertising for it. And I'm like, but I didn't X to advertise for this. Like, I don't understand. So it's Etsy may automatically advertise your listing with partners at our discretion, which is ridiculous because now you're charging me 15% on top of your already fees. So I clicked on the little thing to see if this is optional. And basically, if your store has more than um, $10,000 in sales, uh, you know, whatever, whatever, I have way less than that. So yes, I can actually take this off. Um, but if you have more than $10,000 in sales in 365 days, you're required to participate in this, which is crazy. It's 15% of your money. Um, so then I found out how to actually get get rid of this, basically. What was that store manager or shop manager? Then I'm going to go to the side and that's where all the advertising stuff is. So it's under marketing. So I'm going to click on marketing and then I'm going to go to Etsy ads. Um, and then you're going to click on that. And then you could see here that I didn't sign up for this. I didn't get started with it yet. So why are you charging me 15% of my sale? Just insane to me. It's, it's a lot of money coming out. It's 15% plus like the 6% plus the 3% plus shipping. It's just a lot. Um, so I'm going to go in and try to figure out how to get rid of this. Just bear with me as we do this, but it's basically saying that like how much it increases the traffic and it's like, I don't care. Like maybe this is good for you, but like, it's not good for me. Cause like, that's just a lot. It's a lot of money. Okay. So the easiest way to get rid of your turn the ads off is just to go back to that main page where it's telling you that the ads are on, then click on offsite ads. And then from there, you're going to just click on opt out of offsite ads. And then you're going to opt out of it again, because you know, you got to make sure you're extra super sure about it. And then it's like Etsy pays the cost upfront to promote your items. And you only pay if you make a sale, like, no, thank you. I never said I wanted to do this. So we're going to opt out of it opt out of it and then um, it's going to be done. And then you could always turn it back on if you want to in the future, but I don't think I'm going to want to because it's just, like I said, it's a lot of money. So they go on to talk more about the ads, which I don't care about. And um, all the places that they advertise, they let you know all the places that they advertise. I also don't care um, because your stuff comes up automatically on like Google searches and stuff like that. It doesn't like, you don't need this. I don't, I don't need it. I don't want it. So anyway, um, depending on how searchable your thing is, you can just get your own traction. You don't need to be a part of this. Okay, so this is how is the order attributed to the off-site ad? So how when will you get charged for it, which is totally laughable to me. So basically, if anybody clicks on the ad that they're running on your behalf without you knowing about it at any time that they want, within 30 days of clicking on that ad, if they go and shop at your site, you'll get charged for that ad, which is wild. It's almost like an Amazon affiliate link, only they're acting like... They're they're the influencer as if like Etsy is the influencer. Isn't the whole point of Etsy because you are a search engine and my items are searchable through your shop. But why do you need to like do this 15% fee? I just don't understand the audacity, the audacity that Etsy has to randomly just tack on 15% on top of the already, already Etsy fees. So I just wanted to add in this video, um, while I was going to go all in on Etsy after seeing and like talking about all this stuff, I think I'm going to really concentrate on Poshmark. The good thing about Poshmark is everything will be in one spot. I am also going to have um, Rockstyle being on Poshmark as well. It's still going to be on Etsy and AMA Vintage is still going to be on Etsy. I'm just not going to put as much stuff on there. I'm only going to put things that are very heavy to ship that I wouldn't be able to ship on Poshmark without paying like a crazy fee. Um, but anything that I can ship on Poshmark will be listed on Poshmark going forward because it's just more straightforward and I haven't noticed like this amazing uptick in sales and I just, I really get annoyed with like hidden fees and stuff like that. It's just annoying to me. So, um, just wanted to say that all my links will be down below so you guys can check out any of my things will all be 
link down below. If you're not on Poshmark yet, I do have um, a coupon code down there and it's for $10 off your first order. So if you guys want to use it, you can. You don't have to shop from my closet to do that. You can shop anywhere on the app. Um, but yeah, so I just wanted to add that in. So Rockstyle and all the vintage stuff and all my reselling will be on both platforms um, for the time being. Again, all the links will be down below. And I'm not sure what the future holds for me and Etsy. I just feel like you know, I'm not really somebody who ships a lot of very heavy things. Um, most of my things can be shipped on Poshmark. Um, so I just don't know. I don't know what the future holds with that. I wanted it to be like this whole like boutique feel, but it's like not when there's like hidden fees and it's just costing me so much um, in fees and shipping and everything like that. Poshmark is more straightforward, more user-friendly, easier. And yeah, so I love you guys and I'll talk to you later. Bye.